Hello, welcome back to day 11. No intro, no <laughs> intro. No, I, I, I went to open the intro cupboard and the mm -hmm. cupboard was bare. But never mind, we need no intro. We've got whiskey. What have we got? Let's see what's in our 11th window. This mm -hmm. is the penultimate dram yeah. out of these 12 drams. Are they going to start oh. classing it up? Although this last time they, they shot us with a 14-year-old um, Irish, which is mm. bloody old for Irish whiskey. So um, maybe they're already classing it up. Can there possibly be another Irish whiskey? I hope not. They've um, already spoiled our fun with um, a cavalcade of unguessable Irishes in here, but uh, never mind, never mind. Um, I think uh, we're still waiting for that single grain as well, and that's, um, that's becoming a pretty uh, easy pick, unless they've really, really befuddled us with the back of the box and it's not in here. Mm -hmm. um, just have to see how we go. Okay, so um, Dave's going to crack that one open, and mm -hmm. then it's tank on time. Oh, the poor box. It's really shedding bits everywhere. Yeah. Oh, heck. Bonk. Yes, this is a great calendar if you want to try some tried and true classics mm. or some very new esoteric whiskies. <laughs> well, just to guess. A lot of Irish ones. Mm. Um, oh, another dark one. Look yeah. This. Oh, what have we got? That's downright orange almost. Yeah. May okay. I have taken it, please? It's, uh, uh, it's yes, getting it hidden. Oh. 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 All right. So, let the cursed shell game begin anew. Mm. What have we got here? That smells Ooh, that's rich. a little peculiar. I think we might mm. be back in bourbon country. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yes. Landing firmly in North America, yeah, I believe. I think so. Um, mm. Which is going to make it a bit of a tough pick, mm. but let's see here. We've already had a Buffalo Trace, yeah. so we know, we know it can go there. Erroneously guessed might be a rye whiskey. Yeah. I don't believe mm. this is rye, or well, at least not straight rye. No, it's, it's pretty wrong. It's pretty well. It's pretty straight bourbon on oh, the yeah. nose, I think. Mm. So it's going to be straight something. Um, that's all I can really discern. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's mm. moderate to middling strength. It's not a super high ABV. It's not also not exceptionally old too. The colour's a bit bright for that. Yeah. This is maybe only a 40, 45 percent. It is not super I think it's high at all. I think it's, well, yeah, 45 sounds about right. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, there, is, there is a peculiar note coming through on the finish, like an extra hit of maybe corn. It's very mellow. It's very mm. woody. But it always would be if it was American. Yeah. We're totally wrong here. So what's the sure it's bourbon, not a, not a single grain like corn or... Something else? I don't think so. There's so mm. few, um, unless it's, you know, the old mellow corn back for revenge <laughs> after our lampooning of it, which I, I thoroughly suspect it is not. This is a lot more interesting than mellow corn. Yeah. But, um, no, okay. Bourbon seems like a reliable Yeah, thing. unless it's one of these weird, you know, Kovals and these more um, craft bourbons. Mm. And I, I just don't know. The, these have been pretty conventional whiskies, except for the Star Wars, they've been pretty, you know, off-the-shelf stuff, which makes sense mm. for this kind of a cheaper, cheaper, less boutique sort of a calendar. Um, but this is, there's something unusual here, which mm. is making me uneasy. There's almost a, it's like a butteriness. Hmm. Well, I've had rather popcorn-y mm. American whiskey before. I'm trying to remember what it was. Maybe the Russell's Reserve? Was that a rye? I don't recall. No, Russell's no. Reserve is, that's just, um, Wild turkey. Oh, okay. um, it's just really, really good ten-year-old mm. wild turkey. Um, and this, yeah, I think we, I think we there. may be having trying a wild turkey here. I've got some of the, there's some things like prickly in the back of my mm. recollections. We might be. It could be wild turkey 101. Mm. Um, doesn't taste quite right for wild turkey. There's a clarity to it, which mm. was I to pick. It's a little bit closer to Maker's Mark, but I'm right. not even I'm not even sure about that. Yeah, it's quite and I'm, in, too. Yeah. I'm a stranger in a strange land here mm -hmm. trying to navigate bourbon country because it's not where we live in terms of um, things we taste normally. Oh, mm. that's a weird one. Hmm. Oh, I'm resisting yeah. adding water, I just don't think that it'll improve the tasting experience. Like it won't add to the nuance. It could be could even be like a long branch, uh, hmm. which is the, that Matthew McConaughey one, which we have tried. Yeah. And I remember it tasting a little lighter body than your typical typical turkey does. Hmm. Um, and I think the strength is about right for it, but 
I mean, uh, I was going to say Eagle Rare, which is a 10-year-old, mm. but um, the strength is right for that one because we get that in a 45% um, um, form. I but feel like I can... I don't think this is... With some confidence, yeah. rule out Woodford Reserve, Elijah mm, Craig. It's not Woodford. Um, mm. Elijah Craig I'm not too familiar with. It mm. doesn't It doesn't have the really sort of syrupy... It doesn't have the maple syrup of anything out of Woodford. Mm. I think, yeah, Turkey is, Turkey is good for this one. And um, Maker's Mark. So if I go Maker's Mark and you go Turkey... Yeah. Um, <laughs> you need to look at, look at us mm. scam our own system. <laughs> yes. Um, that all, that I, one of us, mm. one of us has got to... Um, well, not necessarily take the pick there, but I think that's that's spreading around. I think that's close to the zone. I think sure. we're approaching, we're approaching the donkey with the tail, and I think we're pretty close to the region here. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we're going to get. I think further speculation is going to lead us well, further astray. So let's, pin let's it down just let us have it. See let how well, how badly we've done. Ooh, it boy. is benchmark. Ooh. This is okay. McAfee's benchmark, old number eight. Mm. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 40%. Okay, AD. okay. So, so it is a low proof bourbon, great, but it's also eight years old, which is quite yeah. the statement for a bourbon. No, no, so it's getting up there. Yeah. McAfee's Benchmark. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I've never heard of. Totally um, new to us, McAfee's. Oh, we guessed it was bourbon, so we well done that. Yes. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we got, we got that right. Yeah. Um, I wonder where this comes from. We mm. could we could yet be drinking Maker's Mark of Wild Turkey. That's because, quite possible. You know, you can count the number of distilleries on one hand that produce ninety eight percent of everything that comes out of um, Kentucky. How about a quick smash cut here yeah. and consult the internet? Yeah. So we look. Let's see. see. Let's see. Because we might be righter than we think. Yeah. We might get this one on the. We might get this one on points. It is a Buffalo Trace bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Twice in the one calendar, we have had what is in fact a Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace whiskey. Yes. Only this one, yeah, probably a wee bit older than the mm. um, the straight one. God, I wish they would bottle them at higher proofs. I, bet, yeah. I mean, you and me and everybody else, but um, oh, it's a plague. It's a popular one though. Yeah, I can mm. see why though. It is. Yeah, tasty drops. Drops. Mm. Yeah. Odd. Very yeah. strange. Oh well, we weren't right on the distillery, mm. but at least we at least we still can tell a um, bourbon from a <laughs> from a something else. Yes. So that that would have been that's really a good turnaround. Bad. So yeah. Yeah. oh well, oh well. Um, half points once again mm. for getting it a bit right. I won't say mostly right mm. because really we need to hone it down to distillery. But um, mm. picking up the distillery characteristics between the you know the big old bourbon producers is really hard because yes. um, you'll think you've got it until they decide. Oh, we've made this one with a completely different barrel program or mm. something like that, and then. Um, Everything you thought you knew, you don't. Mm. Um, so tough, tough stuff. But we'll see um, tomorrow though for the big finish, probably mm, something pretty special. Yeah, I think so I think soon we, how these calendars tend to go. I'm hoping we're going to return, return to the shores of Scotland, mm. to our you know to our home territory, <laughs> and um, we can get the triumphant pick on the last one. We're starting on a tell. fairly un, unmissable, unmistakable note Ooh, yeah. with the Colour Ella yeah. 12, so... so yeah, hopefully, it's hopefully it throws us a bone on that mm. one. Come on, Vox, come on, Vox. What's the bit's going to be done, the Irish? <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. All right, stick with us then.